Okay, so before you guys watch this, keep in mind that this is from a past broadcast on Twitch. I also know that if you aren't familiar with Revelation or haven't played on the Chinese client, some of this is going to sound like gibberish. But I tried my best to explain what each item in the pack is and uh, what it does. I also had help from my friend Chaotic who is very experienced on the Chinese servers. But also keep in mind that everything we talk about in this pack might not be 100% correct because of the name translations and things like that. But we tried our best to explain what each item does and to kind of help you guys get a general overview of what to expect from these starter packs that they have now updated in the Founders Packs. Before I did a video where I explained the Founders Packs and I'll link that in the description and I kind of went over the value and so no matter which pack you get, you're getting more than what you're paying for. But now you're getting a lot more than what you're paying for. I'd say that the value of the $60 pack has increased by like 50 plus dollars. And I'd say that the value of the $90 pack has increased by like $100. Now the big topic that everyone is going to want to talk about is, oh my god, is this pay to win? And really that just depends on your definition of pay to win. But you have to keep in mind that this is a founder's pack and that's how they work. They give you bonus items. Some founder's packs and games give you, you know, less. Some give you more. Overall, the goal of founder's packs is to sell players. You know, fund the game for months to come and to do that well they have to add some attractive items to these packs and then there's the argument of oh my god cry aren't you the guy who quit black desert because of pay to win i'm gonna keep it short but i didn't quit black desert because it went pay to win i quit over the idea of the game going pay to win and how the company handled the whole situation with banning players and asking for feedback and then when they got feedback from 99 percent of the player base they gave no fucks what anybody thought then they pretty much threatened players through emails, and this could be a video in itself. So, long story short, it wasn't really the pay to win of Black Desert. It's more about the company and how they handled the whole situation. So, enjoy this video, guys. Hope it helps. You guys want me to do a little recap? Maybe we could do a recap. If you're paying for what was the $60 pack, I'm just going to try to go through this really quickly from what I know. You get the starter uh, helper pack, the Emerald Experience pack, and the Fashion pack. And this gives you Gethil, which I believe to be cloud credits that you can use on the marketplace and stuff. You're getting around 80000 uh, for getting the $60 pack. And you get some uh, potions and stuff like the Magic Elixir, which can be used from 1 to 44. Some very convenient items. And then you get a Moon Deer mount. Uh, the Legendary Armor, don't let it fool you by saying Legendary that this is going to be some super pay to win gear. Because this is going to be replaced quickly probably by the level 35 dungeon drops and especially once you start crafting at level 37. Um, so the starter pack, very convenient items, helpful items, a nice title, nothing crazy. And right here, the main thing of uh, these packs, everything you need for an enjoyable game, experience bonuses, inventory expansion to 24 slots, gear upgrade items, and much more. So uh, with this right here, inventory slot expansions, that's beautiful. But in game, can you get that without spending money? Yes, you can. Players can craft it. It's part of a profession and stuff. Uh, you can buy them with um, an item you see down here, bronze feathers. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then you get a rider's chest with random items for upgrading amount. Wings chest with random items for upgrading wings. This will help you max the stats out of your wings and mount. Why do that? I guess it makes them faster and just all around boost the stats. I think on wings it can help you dodge more quickly or something like that. But regardless, because I'm not 100% into Revelation, I can't translate everything. I can't say what everything in this pack is uh, because they changed a lot of names and stuff. But I can say that this Argent stone right here is for upgrading uh, gear. And this is for upgrading your wings and mount, which is going to be important. And in the fashion pack, we all know that the true end game of any MMORPG is about fashion, right? So random accessories, that's fucking awesome. Three of them. Uh, two, ra two random colors, eight each. So you can dye uh, certain costumes in this game. And you get a, a random costume, which is nice because costumes are probably going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 plus dollars. So you're getting one for free. And a permanent style icon title. So the pack before, you know, like I said, it was about $60. You're getting, I don't know, $70, $80 worth of stuff. But what, what we know now is in these starter packs, you're getting over $100 worth of things. Uh, so this, the Decisive Force XP pack that is now a part of um, the $90 pack, this is where things get crazy. 28,888 bronze feathers uh, is the currency that sits below your cloud coupons on the Chinese client. You can buy some interesting items with these. I don't know everything you can purchase, but for example, bag expansion slots. Okay, so um, 
these are items for like expanding your gears limits so your gear it levels up like you um and sorry that i can't really respond to chat i will after this i just want to explain this guys so um when you are fighting with your armor and your weapons they upgrade they have like a certain colors that sit at the top and it breaks you know it goes to the next the next tier it gains like stat bonuses and stuff and these are items that you use to help break those limits to break past those limits to go to the next tier and extend that if it's locked uh you do it i believe by a certain npc and again uh trying to take these is this is exactly what's in the game this is what's going to happen i'm trying to give it you the information to the best of my knowledge these right here are for upgrading um your skills and like the special skill broken seal this is for your special skills your f1 through f6 skills you unlock six of them there's a total of eight there may be more in the future of the game who knows as they expand it but when you buy the next uh two skills you need 20 i guess broken seals and they're giving you five towards that um the other items are just for upgrading your skills adding uh stats and whatnot so it's the bag of gold cores that expands your gears uh you know breakthrough the tiers or whatever um and these stones the magma the argent and the depleted stones are for upgrading your gear so you're getting 50 and um to give you a little recap the 50 stones chaotic damn dog this is a storybook here <laughs> these 50 stones the depleted stones is for uh going from plus one to plus five on enchanting the argent is for going from plus five to plus nine that's 15 of those and the magma is from going from plus nine to plus 11. keep in mind there is rng so though people have this and this can put them ahead uh rng is involved they may not get super far but uh the big thing here is the magma you can only get one of these once a week is what people are saying so if they're giving you five this is what puts you a month ahead it's not just oh you're getting all this stuff it's um you can only get one of these once a week and the people that buy the 90 dollars pack have five of them already so no matter what you do you're behind uh, i don't know if you'll be able to buy these off the marketplace or anything so if you can of course those people who uh, don't have the pack can buy them you know and these items the bag of soul grid stones are for uh upgrading and crafting or working with your soul grid which i don't know too much about but it is something that is in your uh character tab and then you get another title so is this pay to win to you that's up to you uh in this game can you catch up without having to spend a dime you can so uh you can get all of this stuff as, as long as you put in the time for it but this pack is definitely putting you ahead it's getting you ahead and even if you're not someone who's trying to be like super hardcore well it's giving you a ton of convenience items and cutting out a lot of work for you early on but if you're someone who plans to be a top tier player to be in a guild that dominates the server to take all the castles and stuff like that uh like i said this pack is kind of a necessity because people are going to be ahead of you especially if you want to be one of those players and to my knowledge uh revelation at the moment is gear over skill i mean can somebody with skill still kill somebody who has better gear than them yes but gear plays a huge role in the game and it's not just about what comes in this pack like oh my god i gotta get this pack because of those items but if you have 90 dollars you are getting like $200 worth of stuff for $90 before this pack was worth like 110 120 130 around there but now you're getting like 200 plus dollars worth of shit like that is a deal you cannot beat I think Blade and Soul did something similar like I think the the most expensive pack was like the most worth it because of what came in it you're just like well that's a lot of money but I can't beat that but now it's like whew, this is this is so worth the money so guys That was perfect timing. <laughs> Stream is ending. I'll see you all later. Love you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not leaving. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what comes in the packs, to my knowledge. A lot of this information is also here because of chaotic.